Editing 1080p footage on a 2015 MacBook Pro might sound like a daunting task. It, after all, it is a lot older than what we would normally try it on. Now this is my 2015 MacBook Pro, which comes with a core i5 processor, 80 gb RAM, and a 13 inch display. With these specs, it is capable of doing some video editing. I'm just gonna load up Final Cut Pro and we'll see how long that takes. And to be honest, I was pleasantly surprised with how it did perform during this test. Um, Final Cut Pro loaded up in only a few seconds. Um, from there, it was as simple as creating my project, dragging in my clips. I mean, I didn't have a lot of footage to cut down for this, so I just looped over the same two bits, making about a minute long to give us the best test that we could. Now, I'm using Final Cut Pro here. Obviously, some people might choose to use iMovie or even Premiere Pro. Um, personally, I feel like Final Cut Pro is more optimized towards Macs and therefore run a little bit better in this example. Uh, one of my clips was actually shot in a portrait rather than a landscape, so I did have to transform it to turn it back landscape. Um, the whole time I was using it though, I didn't see a single sort of sputter or anything. It was scrubbing was fine, playback is also seems to be rather fine. Transforming, it transforms just as expected would. You know, it's actually a lot more responsive than I initially thought I would have, it was going to be during this test. And as we approach, so I'm just going to speed up through the next bits whilst I do my final edits. As you can see here, the playback is running flawlessly. Um, it doesn't seem to be lagging, slowing down at all. You're making a full screen. It still seems to be working absolutely perfectly, which is a lot better than I thought it was going to. As you can see, I'm just going to start exporting it now. So we're going to export it as 1080p in the better quality preset to try and challenge as much as we can. Now, obviously, it is important to note that this doesn't have any sort of effects applied, any transitions, any color correction. This is purely it performance on a single track bit of video. Um, it does have audio in there, but obviously the audio is just me moving the camera around. And like I say, it seems to be working fine. So what we're going to do now is going to skip through this next bit and see how long it takes to actually explore this one minute bit of footage. We are just as it rounds out, and it took about a minute and a half to explore one minute of footage at 1080p. Um, and like I said before, so if you had any effects and transitions, the space had time to increase, but with the performance it had, which was a lot better than I thought it was going to be, it proves that a 2015 MacBook Pro is perfectly suitable if you are only outputting 1080p content, um, which for a lot of people are more budget minded or like myself are only starting out. 10 AP will do for now. That's all. Until next time, thank you for diving me today.